Hello, everybody. Hope you're having another blessed day. Today, we will be back in the game of Dolan Book for yet again another high rated duel. In today's video, we have expectated the special two of a 1467 rating who's going to be rocking the virtual world deck. He's going to be going up against Slav Nimbus, who's going to be rocking with a 1598 with a Tri Brigade Zodiac deck. So, with that in mind, sit back, relax, and let's get into the duel. Alright, so who is going first? Going first is going to be the special two with Virtual World, so let's check out his hand first. So he opens up Pot of Desires, two Pots of Desires. Ooh, you hate to see that. Uh, the Virtual World Gate, so he has two of the Virtual World cards. He does get Chuchi, which is very good, and he has Yuji. Alright, now, looking at Slav Nimbus, he has Drill and Lockbird, which is a very good card in today's meta. Because it's going to prevent him from adding any of the virtual cards from his deck to his hand. That is going to be very, very good. He also has combo of Whiptail. He has Tinky to get out any of the cards. He has Karash that he can potentially banish. And he has to prevent droplets for the good negate. Alright, so this is a very good hand. And we'll see what the virtual world player can do. So it starts with a pot of desires. He's going to go through and probably going to eat the drone lock bird. Alright, now he did get a triple attack this talent, which is going to be live after the drone lock burst is very, very good. And he has Forest Barrel that he can then send to uh, activate one of his trap cards. So, very good. So, here comes the draw, and here comes probably the triple tactics. Probably going to take out the hand. And if I was him, I would probably take a uh, shuffle back to Droplet, since that could be a really problematic card. And you're still probably be able to make somewhat of a board that can take care of the Tinny. Taking out Tenny won't stop the Whiptail or Karis from being alive. And or take, yeah, so we don't want to take out Whiptail, don't want to take out Tenny. So Karis, the Droplets be the pick. I'll pick Droplets. Takes the Tenny out. I don't know if I'm a big fan of that. Mainly being he can still on his turn make the Zodiac card and go off from there. And get all the Zodiac materials, attack with it, and get into Zoo. So I'm not crazy about that play. This sits two traps and passes turn. Alright. So I'm just playing you probably go for the whip tail and try to cover off. Start of the battle phase. He's gonna activate Virtual World. One face up card on the field, so two you banish. Is that live? Oh, and in response, he also has Exu during the battle phase. If you control no virtual world gate card, you can talk with face of card field, change its battle position. So all he's doing is changing the battle position of the card. And then he's probably going to go for a Zodiac play. For, yep, for the Dryden. Set the droplets. And where is he going from here? Past turn, dry is going to pop, and this will probably be live. You can banish the card creator to target one virtual monster you control, increase its level. So that will be live eventually if it gets to that point. Dryden will also be live on your opponent's turn to pop the cards. So that's very good. He will have the effect failure and the droplets. So very good. Now he opened up Ash Blossom, which, you know, if he had Ash Blossom in his hand, he probably would not have shuffled back the Tinny. He probably would have shuffled back. Uh, we'll say the Forbidden Droplet. We'll see. Alright, so he just revealed, revealed uh, that card. You can target one virtual monster you, uh, card you control. Just send one virtual card from your different type. Monster spell or trap from your deck to the graveyard. You spell some of this card. And he's going to activate Dryden to Pop, making that unvalid now. Then he's going to send First Barrel. He's going to send Olong. Olong has a Fig Banish card and add a Virtual World Monster from your deck to your hand. Very good. And what's this card's Banish effect? Banish card, type of Virtual Monster in your graveyard, Spell Summit. So you got a uh, Level Changer, a Spell Summit from the graveyard, and an add to your hand. Very good. Alright, so let's see. Goes full of Pod is Ires. So he's milling his deck out a lot, and he gets Lili and U uh, Lalu. 
So not bad at all. Banishes the adverse revolver from the deck to his hand. Gets Lulu to his hand. Okay. Okay, sends this card into the graveyard. To bring out GG, this card in hand, time of his card, he total send. Why is this into the grave? This card in hand. Okay, if this card is in your hand, you can target one more throwable card. You control, send more card. Why is this into the grave? Uh, guys, I am confused. Why is this into the grave? Let's read this card. This card's in hand, target one of the card you control. I don't know. I don't know why it's sent to the grave. Wait, is that from this card effect? Okay, then some card from hand to grave. Right? Okay, now we're fine. I was getting confused there. All right. So yeah, then he re they reveal the Lulu, which is then also sent a card to the grave. Buy the card to the hand and send it to the grave. Sends Kalu. Okay, so we'll see to go from here. He still uh, they already used the pop this turn. So right now they have this effect failure and they have a droplet to mess around with. Okay, so it's ready to go from there. Gonna go for the Chuchi to probably boost them up to level three to that nine. They go for a Vermilion. And once when you can banish one card in your hand or gray or a face up on the field, top one card and destroy it. What are they going to target? Go and target Dryden. So he effect failures that. Only problem is this card can still just this beat over Dryden, which is very bad for Slap Nimbus, which is what he's going to do. Nothing really do to protect that. He's going to take that damage for sure. And activate Dryden. Didn't he already activate Dryden this turn? Is right now once per turn? It is once per turn. And he activated that I thought already on this turn. Let's see here. Turn one. Turn two. Yeah. He already activated Zodiac Dryden, so interesting. Is it a destroyed effect? There is not. So that's a, that is a misplay. I do think there this card should not have been destroyed. Very interesting. So I don't know why this is in the graveyard. This this got banished. Very weird. Okay. So he's going to open up with the Pot of Desire. He's going to eat an Ash. And then from here, he's going to have to go for the Karis play normal summon, I assume. No, he's just going to pass. <laughs> That's. Interesting. Alright, so it goes for the Lulu. To just go to Lau. Lau's gonna send GG. Uh, Lily gets special summon. And now they can overlay into a Concert Prometheus M7. They can basically add a, add a virtual card back to the hand. Add Ash back to hand. Attack for 27. Not in a good spot. Now right now, Ash is live, which is very unfortunate. He has my Vault, which is good. So, to Vault, hmm. He has plenty of Beast World cards in his graveyard. So you could definitely just go for tribe uh Kara special summon out. I don't know. We'll see where he's going from here. I do think some misplay, some stuff definitely could have come better. I think he should have gone for Karas earlier because just sitting there waiting for a Zuya to go into Zeus does not help him at all. Uh 
Now, the reason why he made he probably did not do it though is because he would get back his virtual world cards by effect of this to bounce to destroy it, so he didn't just lose it. Period. So I guess he's just waiting for the timing, which still is not very good at all. All right. The thing though, he does have this effect. He will be able to hopefully link off all of these beast warriors and get into Omen to banish the card if he gets to that point. So we'll see if he gets to that. He gets the Shin Chin, so this will be game to find a way to stop this. He goes for the revolt. Two, three, needs the four. And then he should go for Almond. Finish in. Oof. Takes 27, so yeah. Uh, at this point, there is basically nothing he can really do. Check in the grave. There is two virtual war cards. Those are both going to shuffle back. So yeah, this is going to be a game. Let's see what his top deck was. Slav top decks. It is a Zodiac card, which would help him if it wasn't for having two virtual cards in the graveyard. Yeah. It's game two. And Slav will probably go first. Alright, so let's check out Slav's hand first. Going to the first. He has a Solemn Judgment, a Nibber, which has been very helpful last game. He has the Tinky to search. He has the Triple Tactics in case the Ash happens. He has Poly Tower for Extender. Very good. So there's your basically you get your one card combo from Tinyi. He's of an Ash. You gotta transfer Triple Tactics to bounce a card. Horror shot, draw three cards. Extender, I guess, of Power Desires. Has the Pack Row Hate. Very good. And let's see, any interruptions? No. We have uh, GG, we have Lulu, we had Nyan Nyan, we have Power Desires, and we have Mercy. So, Slav is going to be able to go full out on this. Let's see what he ends up with this. Slav the Tinky gets the Fractal. Fractal is going to discard. That's going to send Kit. It's going to set Nerva out. Nerva is going to add Kit. I'm going to summon the Kit. Kit's going to have that lovely effect to banish a bunch of cards to get out the things into the new one. Yes, a new one here. It's going to go for Power Desires next. Swap 2. Oh, that's just great. You get a note in the rush of Ash Blossom, which is great against Virtual World. You get the Revolt, which is going to be great from banishing just a bunch of cards. Okay, he will be, yeah, he already banished a bunch already. Let's check out his banish. He banished the Imperial Oral, one, uh, two Drills, one Ash, and then one of the Jettle cards. Not bad banishes at all. So, yeah, he's in a very good position. He will have Omen live. He will be able to probably bring, he will probably get at least one of his cards to the grave. He'll be able to get an Omen, Fangs to Revolts, Judgment. He'll have Nivra of Ash. Also looking great for him. Link those off. Into the Tri Brigade. And then probably s you have add Revolt to his hands. Set to pass. Alright, so again, he has Revolt for Omen on going second. He has the Judgment to get anything, and he has the Ash. Let's see what the virtual player draws. Draw a non Nyan Yan. Let's see if he can play through free interruptions here. So, normal summon. Ninian. Going to goes for Omen off the off the start. So let's see nerve. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so nerve out, nerve out, nerve out. Work. Alright. So gets add to his hand, banishes. Goes for the teleport. That's going to eat a solemn judgment. Goes for the power of desires, and this can probably eat the ash. Pass turn. Okay, so that's very good. 
You already know we're selling. These are, none of these cards lie because there's nothing else on the board. And right now he has 5,300. And that's going to let him get a special summon. Okay, yeah, he just submitted this drawing card. Which probably would have happened too. This would have got a special summon from your graveyard. So yeah, he would have got one of these out. Zeus or something. Okay, yeah. Good. So game two to slide Nimbus. Mainly because the special two opened up basically no hand traps. <laughs> Alright. So, can Virtual pull it off? We'll see. So they're going first. They have Tutu. They have Lily. They have Lulu and Ninyan. And they have Joy Spring. Alright. So this is going to be very detrimental to keeping the cards well on the board. Alright. So. Yeah. So this is a very good hand. You know. no, They have. They don't have anything playing against for interruptions unfortunately. But you know. Judging from what the Slav Nimbus has. He doesn't have the best interruptions. He has triple tag. This would be very good taking the card. He has the kit. You know, if he gets used, that's great. He only has for interest is the DV Crow, which will have to be timed very well for it to be really any good effect. So we'll see. So he's going to start off T2 to spell summon it. Okay, with the normal summon, 2 2. Alright, reveals the Lulu. Then going to send Oolong to get the Choo Chi. Going to banish the Oolong now. Okay, you're going to reveal Lili. To get out, to get that out. It's going to send a second Oolong. Oof. That's very harsh, very harsh. Alright, let's see where we can go from here. He goes for the Archosaur to draw two. Or draw one, I guess. Oh, no, I'm two. Yeah, just draw one. Gets it into his hand. Then the discards in the end. Activates Oolong. Spells summon and probably send a card to the grave. It's going to send the Choo Choo to the hand. The Choo Choo. Alright, gets Ninyan to the board. Hold up. He didn't even do the board. Okay, if I fell level 3, there's no more special summon to your field. Okay, yeah, never mind. Special summon this card. And he special summoned out. Wait. Hold up. If if level 3 monsters, the monster, monster is no more summon, is no more summon to your field while it's in graveyard, special summon this card as a tuner. I don't understand how this card came out. Alright. Yeah, um. Uh, this card should not have come out, mainly because this is the card they summoned, which is would have been a level 6 at this point, and did not activate anything to reduce the level. Yeah, um, hmm. Yeah, I don't think this card should be live, but, you know, let's see if Slav catches it. Does not catch it. So he does not catch that. He's set. The Chu Chi to activate the the Zulkin is gonna get out the Crystal Wing. Okay, now why is this going to the grave? If this card's in your hand, you can target one virtual card sent to the graveyard. Best summon this card, and you can add one virtual card from the to hand. What you just done? Gonna go, you can just call one side one. Okay, so this card would banish it when it leaves the field as a tuner. So, yeah, these are both the tuners then. Okay. Okay, now I'm seeing a bunch of co uh, contradictions here. Okay. A lot of contradictions. I'm trying to look for some of these cards. Cause like this card never got banished. This is the revived card. I could have brought back out this card here. It was never banished. I don't see it banished at all here. So I don't know how that card got revived. Nor was anything increased level, so this card wouldn't have been live anyways. Well, this card would have been live to spell something from the graveyard. 
Man of the Cuz, no level 3 monsters, nor summon, or special summon, this card special summon to level 6. So, I don't, this, I, I don't think this card should be on the field. It should just be this board. Please tell me in the comments if I'm wrong on this. You know, we got some problems, I think, going on here. Alright, so Fractal Effect, this card. And hits it with the Crystal Wings. You're going to drag and negate that. Now, a lot of people like to wait till uh, you get to the Nerve Owl. So, so Fractal send Kit and Kit send Nerve Owl. And then you negate the Nerve Owl. It makes them like, waste those resources. But judging from, you know, the could OTK at this point, you do want to hit it early on. Just to make sure they can't get to like a Keras, Ormlin, or something like that really early on. Alright, so True Type of Talents. Let's see. What would they want to take? I would probably take Shinshin at this point to help beat over either the Crystal Wing or the Pterosaur. Or they can take this the, the Archosaurus and then send the card to the grave. Which would then make Kit Live and send it to the grave. Yep. Normal summon that. Sends the Ram Ram. Activate the Choo Choo. Shuffle back two. Which, you know, again, this card mm, would not be in the grave. I don't know. I don't know. Very interesting. So this card's the two to pop that to save the Raptor. Good. Kit the Ash. Kit the Sin. Then I get eats the Ash. So at this point, you know, he's going to go into Zeus. Yep, Zeus, and then clear the board. Throw this skip to get to the Zeus, and then attach to blow up everything. Very good, very good. So now let's see what he has resource. He draws the Minion, which is a very good card to draw. Oof, very good card. And check in the graveyard. He has two tracks. He has the special summon. He has the level changer. Very good. So let's see. Nora summons that. Okay, this card again. This time it would have been Lysi. Now that's they summoned it last time on the special summon of Laulu. Laulu's level six. So that shouldn't have happened. This is level 3. That's when this one would have been live. Okay. Zeus does destroy everything again. Okay. That's that to shuffle that back to the deck. Alright. Anything else? Vanishes two to bring out Shin Shin. Pass turn. It's Ash, attack with Zeus. Okay, draws another Lulu. Okay, very good. So, banish two to get Shin Shin. Reveals that in the hand. It's gonna Ash. Send that to the banish that to get a revive. Brings out Lao. Alright, this card is Fusion Squad. Wait, why is this in a grave? Oh, that's probably this card, right? Yep, alright. So, where do you go from here? Banish this to, to reduce this down by free, I would assume. Well, up by free. Into a Phantom Fortress Interbalton. Interbalton detach one to pop to banish Zeus. Attack with 29. And then goes into Zeus's own. Oh, that's not good at all. Okay. So, let's check the grave. Shin Shin's going to come back for sure. Banishing two. I think that's going to be game. Because no matter what. Uh, Slav gets, yeah, you're in trouble. Nibiru, that's not good. That's, that's game. Alright, so, the special two wins that duel. Now, again, 
you know, going back to that one point, I don't know if it would, actually, I'll say it did change the duel for sure, because that takes away with the side of the game, because his card came back twice, and did a good chunk of damage at that point. So, I'll say that, this, again, this card should not have been revived. Please tell in the comment section you agree with that. But yeah, with that, that's going to do it for today's video, and I hope you guys enjoyed If you did, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It guys helps you support me and helps me make more videos for you to enjoy. Now again, do you guys enjoy me making these high-rated uh, dual watches videos? If so, please show me down in the comment section down below. Now with that, you know it's time for me to say, I hope the rest of the week is a blast. I hope to see you again in the next video. And with that in mind, I I'm out.